Five Mistakes of Bad Leaders We all wish that we could be great leaders, and with time and practice, most of us will get there eventually. Leaders are made, not born, and there are definitely some strategies and techniques you can use to improve your skills in that regard. But before you get carried away with being a great leader, perhaps it's best to start off by not being a bad leader. Here are five mistakes that bad leaders make and which you should try to avoid. 1. Blaming others. Whether it is blaming management or blaming your staff, blaming others should be off the cards for a leader. In fact, your job is to take responsibility even when it wasn't your fault. Passing the buck just makes you appear weak and keen for approval, and it will damage the trust that others have in you. 2. Getting stressed. When a deadline is looming and the chips are down, you need to stay calm and collected so that you can provide a healthy barometer for your team. They will follow your lead in this regard, so put on a brave face, even if you're panicking deep down. 3. Getting angry. The same goes for getting angry. If you rant and rave at your staff, then you will quickly lose their respect, and they might even start trying to goad you on purpose. If you do need to reprimand a member of staff, do so in a calm and fair manner. And remember, you're their boss, not their mom or dad. 4. Micromanaging Micromanaging is bad news no matter what kind of leader you are. You need to have the faith in your team to let them work largely independently, as this will be more intrinsically rewarding and motivating for them, and it will mean you're able to concentrate on the bigger picture. Be willing to hand out tasks to different members of the team, and then let them complete them in their own way. 5. Being scruffy Presentation really does matter as a leader. If you look scruffy, then it sends the signal that you don't care about what you're doing, or that you're too disorganized to present yourself properly. It can hurt your reputation, and as a result, it will hurt your ability to lead. If you're going to be taking care of your team, then you need to show that you can take care of yourself first and foremost. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.